Hey there. Um, I want to stream some working on React today, so I'm just gonna tweet the link, and then we'll do that. So give me a few minutes. No, there's already a few people. Okay, so I'm gonna tweet the link and we will start. And let me also attach that to another thread. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Um, also open YouTube on mobile so that I can see if people comment something. I don't actively read the chat, but um, I can maybe just have a look once in a while. Well, there's a bunch of people here. Um, hi, everyone. No, I'm not working on Angular. Um, okay. Oh, thanks for, somebody says congrats on the release. Yeah, thanks for that. Um, yeah, uh, what is React? Yeah, I don't know. What is React? Let's find out. Um, okay, just put this somewhere. I need to put my phone somewhere that I, so that I don't drop it. Okay, cool. Um, I have this waffle here. Sorry, I need to eat this waffle. It's gonna fall apart otherwise. Mm. It's really good. Okay. Um. Yeah. Just give me give me a minute. Hmm. Somebody's asking what it's like to work on the React team. I don't know. I mean, I guess <laughs> you'll find out because I'm. <laughs> that's that's what I'm going to do now. Um, the screen is not visible. I know it's not visible because I have private stuff here, but uh, I will I will make it visible in a moment. Um. So yeah, yeah. I guess let's. Uh, why don't we? Why don't we start? Um, well, no, let, let me actually finish this waffle first. Mm. It was really good. Yeah, so we're going to try to, um, I'm probably not going to finish it today, but I'm going to try to make some improvements, um, to hydration er hydration errors so this uh you know like maybe server rendering like Next.js or your own you might have run into a situation where you have um like accidentally different markup on client and server and then react complains about it and i want to make this um the errors easier to understand so that's uh I'll, i won't i definitely won't finish it today but i hope to make a little bit of progress uh, no, I'm not planning to tell the story and and so on. I'm I'm planning to work today, so uh, that this isn't. Uh, I'm not going to tell anything. I'm just gonna just gonna work. Um, it's just black tea, just normal black tea. Mm. Okay.
Hmm. Okay. Anyway, let's uh, let's let's kind of get on with it. Um. <clears throat> So um, again, what I'm gonna do is um, again, if if you've ever if you've ever seen um, if you use Next.js, uh, you you or if you use like server rendering, you might have seen warnings like this where it says like, oh like this didn't match between client and server, or there's like, I I wrote this test yesterday. Like it would say expect server HTML to contain a match and something in something and kind of annoying to debug so i'm hoping to like what i want to do is i want to improve these messages and uh make them a little bit easier to understand like maybe show them as uh as diffs um and stuff so uh so yeah that's that's what i'm gonna do uh somebody's asking is it better to use them I'm, I'm not going to answer to random questions on a stream while working like <laughs> I don't understand why why people ask random questions. I'm I'm here to work. Not th this is not a Q and A. Um, so yeah. Uh, now the this is not going to be super exciting. It's uh, I'm just going to try to you know try to focus on one thing at a time and try to make these warnings better and um, hopefully maybe some people find it interesting. Maybe not. But yeah, let's uh, let's go. So, decide which one to start with. So there is a bunch of warnings where the client renders something extra. Yeah, I'm just kind of looking at the structure of, of these tests. So I added these tests yesterday. Um, so maybe the client renders something extra, maybe the server renders something extra. Um, yeah. Yeah, maybe let's start with, let's start with this one. When server renders an extra element as the only child. So I'm going to focus this test. So this is the only test that runs. Um, yeah, and I'm going to kind of fiddle with this with this warning. I already know where the code for it is. I think it's uh React um, component somewhere here. Let's let's look for it. Yeah, I think this is this is the one. So if I have a comment this out, um the test fails because because the warning's not there. Um yeah so what I want to see instead uh actually kind of want a few things so uh <clears throat> one thing I kind of want to see is uh got some to do's um so I want to see show them as a div so I want to see something like uh you know, uh the content rendered by the server and the client did not match um, <clears throat> um yeah i don't know whatever i i i i can i can kind of words me that later but essentially what sebastian suggested is that uh ideally what we would see is the uh the parent together with the uh with like attributes maybe indent it a little bit and then kind of a because server server renders something that client did not render we're going to use minus so kind of like in a diff and it would say like something like this i guess um maybe if i know it's empty it should just I don't know, something to think about later. Um, and I think he also suggested that, that we show something like this. So say like, this is what the server rendered and the client did not render anything. So it's not uh, in the, uh, it's not in the div. 
So maybe let's let's maybe start with some format like this, and and then and then we can iterate on that. Somebody's asking why do I reach out? Well, I reach out in case there are relevant questions that are actually related to to what I'm doing. Uh, so that's that's why I do that. Somebody asking what gate means. So this is like a thing that we use. Uh, it's a custom thing. It's it's only used in in our repo. Um, but this is like a thing that we use to switch behaviors depending on some options that we enable for different builds. So like this is is like new behavior, and then this is old behavior, and so this lets us have like two different behaviors that we uh, like. For example, if we change something in React, we usually put it behind a flag. Uh, we test both behaviors, and then eventually we delete one of them, and we delete the flag. So if you go to like React feature flags, you can actually find all the different all the different things that we have uh, internally that that change the behavior. Uh, anyway, um, yeah. So again, this is this is the one I'm changing. So let me just um, just comment this out because I, I'm you know I'm gonna change the message anyway, and let's do something like content rendered by server and the client did not match. Uh, and let's, I don't know, let's add a couple of new lines. And, uh, so I need to, mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, um, so I need the, you know, um, some kind of formatting parent note, um, uh, format note for all format node for div. That would be parent node. It doesn't matter if it's well. I guess it is. Uh, 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 yeah. So I'm gonna have. Um, I'll move that somewhere else later. But um, I'm just thinking if I need. Yeah. So it needs different. I'm gonna put some stuff inside of it. Uh, yeah, let's just say this is gonna be format opening tag, and there's gonna be format closing tag. Maybe something, something, something. Well, if it's tag, it has to be element, right? So let's say this is an element. This is an element, uh, and then this is going to be format. Well, I guess I can just use okay. format opening tag. This is going to be the opening tag, and then new line, new line. And then we're gonna have so now this is gonna be something that I'm gonna use this minus sign because it's something that doesn't exist uh, on the something that's server rendered but doesn't exist on the client. So this is gonna be a format opening tag the child. Um and if the child is empty, I think it would make sense to make it self-closing. But I think for now I will always show like an ellipsis. That seems fine. Uh, format closing tag. Child. New line. And this is going to be format closing tag for the parent. Yeah, let's have a look at that. It just says undefined, undefined, undefined because I haven't actually returned anything. So now let's say, uh, say this will be return. 
let's start the just like opening thing uh then add element top uh, what did render yeah node name that lowercase then for now let's just add a closing well closing bracket and here we're gonna have something similar but like this i'll i'll clean it up later yeah, so now we have this. This is nicer. I also want to see attributes in the closing brace. So before we get here, um, mm -hmm. yeah, so I want to go over. Actually, I already wrote, wrote this code before in another PR, but. Um, I, might, I might as well just write it again anyway. Um, so I think the way you do that is, uh, yeah, I'm actually not sure. I think you can do this. Um, um, so you do mm -hmm. Uh, something like this. Uh, actually, you know what? I will copy and paste this because I already had this before somewhere. Uh, okay, one sec. All right. Um, yeah, I don't want to show you my super secret GitHub project. Just kidding. I don't actually have any. Um, so let's. Let's. Uh, no, this is not how you do it. Wait. What's going on? Uh, this is how you do it. Yeah, I'm just gonna copy and paste something I already wrote before. Um. <clears throat> no, wait. This is this is the one I didn't into ah this is the one i did yeah um okay yeah let's see blah 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 so this this has a little bit of logic already because uh well let's we're gonna assume that this is an element so this is fine uh yeah so the logic i have here that is that is kind of nice is that it already trims the valley if it's too long why is it complaining though i don't know what the hell uh is it not happy about some oh come on uh yeah sorry um <laughs> i don't know why it's unhappy this code is perfectly fine. Uh, why is my syntax? Wait. Which part is confusing my editor? Yeah, I don't know. No idea, honestly. Uh, okay, I don't care. Okay, so now, yeah, so now it displays a little bit. Yeah, so it won't go over like 30 attributes if there are too many. I don't know why I picked number 30, maybe it should be fewer. Um, one thing that's kind of awkward is that it uses HTML. Um, did I have some motivation why I, did, why I chose it? Um, oh. I could get a React name for this, but this seems confusing. So that's why I figured it should just use HTML. Yeah, the problem with this is, uh, like when I render the client rendered one in the diff, it's not going to be HTML. So that could be a little bit confusing. Um, 
I could render the client one to to look like HTML. I guess. I could read inner HTML from the oh no, it's not generated yet. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure, <laughs> but maybe maybe we can iterate on that. Um. So. Probably fine. Um, we can come back to this later. So this one actually al already works. And what I want to see is um, how does it affect all the others, all the other warnings? Because this, I think this one looks pretty good. Uh, but let's see what are the other ones that have changed as a result. And do they all make sense? Uh, somebody's asking, have you considered using TypeScript? Uh, yeah, but like TypeScript flow, pretty similar. So not like it doesn't really change much for us. So it's not worth, not worth it. Somebody's asking, how can I start contributing to React as open source? I don't suggest Picking React is the first place you contribute. I suggest picking a, you know, like a smaller projects you actually use, and it's like much easier to fix bugs in. Um, Apple headset hurts. No, it doesn't hurt my ears. Um. Anyway, let's uh let's see what we have here. So we have uh, the content written by this. What is the message? Yeah, actually, I, I want to copy and paste the message I already, I already used because it was, I think it was pretty good, maybe. Yeah, so this is a stream of me copy and pasting stuff because I already did try to do this once. Uh, oh, no, we had a discussion. We had a discussion, and in the discussion, there is a... Yeah, there is a mismatch. I don't know if this is clear. There is a mismatch between the client and server output. And here I say content rendered by the. Okay, yeah, I think this is actually a bit clearer. The content rendered by the server and the client did not match. The, the, and I think here I can say uh, the mismatch occurred, and I can use the word hydration mismatch so that. People know this is what it's called. Uh, maybe this hydration mismatch occurred inside of this element. And then two spaces. And I want to say that this is the... Uh, yeah, so Sebastian suggests that we kind of just show it like this. But then if it's really long, I just worry that be easy to miss um i'm gonna play with it a little bit so maybe one other um you know, like we could do something like this um don't necessarily love it um But then like at least if I if I have you know like pretty long list of attributes this is this is not bad. 
Something like this, maybe? Um, I don't know, what, what, what do y'all think? Hey Brian, uh, does anyone have preferences on like the formatting? Like, uh, could be from above, I don't know. But it's, it's easy to, I don't know, something like this. This is kind of nice if you know the HTML syntax. Um, yeah, and I, should, I, I don't, I don't like the C and S prefixes. I think that's that's just too cryptic. Like it, it I think it needs to be clearer for somebody who doesn't know. Um, uh, I don't know. I think I'll just start with what I, with what Sebastian suggested, and then kind of just like this, and then if it sucks, on we'll just try it like in you know in real in the real app and see how it actually fits. Um, so I need to add, um, yeah, I need to add this here, server. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good actually. Um, the content rendered by the server and client did not match. I can, I guess, I can drop this down. I can just make this face. <clears throat> the content rendered by the server and the client did not match. This condition mismatch occurred inside of this element. Okay, yeah, that's. I mean, that 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 does look pretty good. So let's let's check all of them. So we have um, this one. Let's see, was and there's an extra element. That's the only child. Yeah, it's this one. Yeah, that seems fine. Then this one. Uh, Render is an extra at the end. Uh, yeah, so this one is not perfect, actually. Let me let me focus on this one. So this one seems to imply as if as if there are no other children, which is not true because there's actually uh, actually a bunch before, right? And there could be a child after. It's kind of misleading to say uh, that there are no other children, and you also kind of need to know well where where did it happen? So. The proposal was that it would, and it's like the way I understand the proposal, we should print the element just before the mismatch, and then if there are more before the mismatch, I think we can like render an ellipsis, and it'll, it'll be good enough. So it seems like we we want to know a few things. Um, mm, Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to move this into a variable, then I'm calling dev, and I'm just kind of going to construct it like so. Uh, Yeah. Yeah, I don't like these things. They just confuse me. Um, 
here, so I want to have a new map. Well, okay, so this is this is the opening line. We're probably not going to do this if it has no children. This is the This seems fine. Nope, I forgot the. Mm. I mean, this doesn't make any sense. Uh, what's going on? Burning side of this element. What is it that at, at the uh, what? I think my test and fixture might be a bit broken. Oh, this should be a comma. Okay. Uh, okay. The content rendered blah 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 so maybe okay so actually I'm 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 just gonna do this change right here. So if child dot uh is it inner yeah so if child inner html is not empty then we're gonna do this thing Otherwise, we'll just self-close it, because that's a bit simpler. Wait, no, it's not how it works. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just not gonna I'm just not gonna have this, I guess. I know this doesn't quite make sense. Uh, I'll clean it up later. Um, so in that case, this gives me this. And then here I decide either we're going to do this, or we're going to do this, and then we're going to do this yeah okay th this is a bit nicer um okay but it's still wrong because it doesn't have the it doesn't have the siblings so what we want to do is uh if this is the lost child so if so we finished with this and then if the child is Parent node dot last child. Well, if it's not the last child, then we're gonna add uh, something like this. And then if it is not the first child, so uh, so here if it's not the first child. We want to also add this. 
And it should be indented, so it should be like this. Uh, nope. Should be more indented because it's a child. Mm. Yeah. Okay, but I also want to include the... Yeah, I want to include previous sibling. Uh, which I think, is there, is there a DOM API for this? Uh, sibling, is that a thing? Node.previousSibling, okay, that is a thing. Uh, but it could be any node, it doesn't have to be an element. But let's pretend that it's an element and then think about it again. So, um, oops, it's maybe here. Um, Mm -hmm. Somebody asks, why do I have slashes in the tag elements? I don't, I don't quite understand what 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 you're describing. Maybe if you're a bit more specific, uh, I can try to answer. If you mean these things, it's just formatting because these are strings, so they are. They're just being escaped or something. Uh, so I want to see, let's say, brief, brief sibling is child of previous sibling. If brief sibling is not null, uh, if sibling is not the first child, we want to add a bunch of stuff, and then I think we want to print the brief sibling. Mm. Copy and paste this, so we want to add um, some work or yeah, this doesn't work for other nodes, so we Hmm. So we don't want to just use elements, but we also don't want to use just nodes because it could be a comment node. If it's common node, it's used by some of our internal features. We probably want to skip over it because that'll be confusing. So uh, that should really be like previous printable sibling or something. Uh, Yeah, and then I guess we do the same thing, so maybe I can extract it later. Uh, and in any case, um, it just doesn't make sense. I'll just remove this. This thing doesn't make sense anymore. And I think this will just be format attributes. Remove this as well. And then this will be.
Okay, I'll just copy and paste this and then I'll think about it. Okay, so we have parent, node, node name, the lowercase, then we have the attributes of the parent node. Oh, by the way, this this might be well, might not be an only. It's more about this one. Uh, so it might have some attributes. Um, if it has none, then we don't want the space, right? So. Right, so I think this thing, um, this thing should start with the space. No. If it has attributes. Right, I don't love how this is structured, but I'll clean it up later. So, uh... Yeah, I think that's fine. And then here we uh, do a similar thing for the other one. This will be previous sibling instead of node name, instead of parent node. Uh, parent. Important here, yeah. I mean, this could also not be an element, right? Um, but for now, we'll pretend it is, and then here we we get inside. We don't need this anymore. Uh, oh, I see. So either it's Wait, what? There is like this, and then like this, and and then we close it. So we do this. Oh, I see. Yeah. So this is this is where it was happening. So. Uh, we have this or otherwise it's self-closing and we we add a new line yeah and then we do the same thing essentially for um for the just copy and paste this well, we shouldn't copy and paste this way. It has it has this prefix, and then after here it has yeah we copy and paste this. Let's just make it similar. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, but I add this thing here. Uh, and then I do, do close the parent. Um, yeah, let's have a look. So we have a, oh, I need to indent it as well. There's a bit more indentation. Yeah, that's, that's really cool. Uh, I don't know if I should add more space in between them. Like that might make it a bit easier to read. Maybe not. But I think we can we can kind of decide on this. We can kind of decide on this later. Now let's see what happens to other tests. Okay. 
Okay, so the first one is renders an extra element as the end of child. This one, yeah, div class. Yeah, I got an extra space there somewhere. Mm. Where is the extra space coming from? Oh, I see. No, this is correct because this, yeah, this should be empty and then the first attribute is going to add the space to it. So I don't need this. Cool. Um, <laughs> yeah, there's a few crashes. So content rendered. Yeah, so I could actually say something like the server has rendered an extra node that did not that the client did not render or something like this. So this I think this could be an improvement. Yeah, that seems like it's well yeah, it's not perfect though, because sometimes they just render different things. Um Yeah, so this case is pretty clear, so I will uh, did not match. Did not match because the server has rendered an extra node. Content rendered by the code did not match because the server has rendered an extra node. Uh, this contradiction match, match occurred inside of this parent element. Um, yeah, that seems pretty clear. Uh, did not, this hydration mismatch occurred inside of this parent element. Okay, so. Uh, okay, so yeah, this is this is server only. Yeah, why didn't it wait? So did this test? Yeah, so why doesn't it include attributes? I, I wanted to see attributes. Uh, did I forget the attribute? Yeah, I forgot the attributes. So we have to add uh, here attributes for the child. Yeah, that's cool. Um, so uh, the content rendered by blah, 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 main class only, server. Yeah, yeah, I think that's actually really good. So let's let's relax this one. Then let's see what's next. Um, content rendered by this. Uh, so this is uh, and server renders an extra element in the end. Right, this one. So it has, yeah, like, how much nicer is this, right? Like, you, you used to have, you did not expect server HTML to contain a footer and div. Now it says, the content did not match because the server has rendered an extra node. The condition mismatch occurred inside this parent element. And then this is the actual, yeah, this is the thing that, and it tells me, oh, it's, it's right after the main. So if I... So if I had something in the main, so if I had this, I think it would show, yeah, so it shows that it has some content. And then if I, if I did not have this, yeah, it doesn't show the, yeah, okay, this is good. And then if I had something here, I think it should, sh oh, it's, that's, yeah, that's interesting because it checks for different client content. Well, yeah, so I end up I end up in a different in a different error. So that's it's actually bad. I need I need to I'll need to fix that error as well. And there is like five of them or more. Um, I 
can drop element at the end, it's obviously an element inside of this variant. Uh, I'll just say the mismatch is fine. Let's keep it short. Uh, okay. The content rendered by the server did not match because the server is rendered next to node. The mismatch occurred inside of this parent. Better. Um, yeah, this is good. This is good. This is bad. That means I broke it. Which is probably because, well, because it encountered a comment. So we use comments in a bunch of places. And then here. Yeah, it's also bad here server this this probably looks fine let me see uh fragment warrants when server renders an extra node okay so i have div server rendered an extra header Okay, yeah, that, that is the first mismatch. I mean, it's not actually the, the reason because it's this whole thing mismatched, but that's that's fair enough. Uh, and then, yeah, this also, this also looks fine. There's the last one, so there's nothing, yeah. Yeah, this is, uh, well, I should fix the crash though. And I should also fix, um, there's, yeah, this is pretty hard. It's getting pretty hard to read. Uh, yeah, so what, what are the common pieces here? Um, I think maybe it makes sense to kind of do something like function format element it's an element and uh, inner content something like this format the children and yeah yeah I think I can work with that so maybe maybe let's like use this as an example so uh, i'm gonna have this uh, uh, we're just gonna start the implementation so this assumes it's an element it could also be a node but let's uh let's let's do the element one first so this will be element dot uh, I can just use, well, well, okay, I'll need, yeah, I'll need to think about these things as well later. Hmm. So maybe this is format non-text node, I don't know. Uh, eggy note. Uh, it's fine. Yeah, I'll think about it a bit later. Um, so this is this just goes like this. So we it's just an element. Format the attributes if. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so if it's if it's a leaf then we want to have a look at its well well if Well, if formatted children is null, then assume it's a leaf. So we're going to infer them by actually reading them. 
Otherwise, we're just gonna put... There's never going to be more than one. Yeah, that, that should be fine. So, otherwise, we just say that we close the tag to this. Uh, do I need indentation level? No, I think that should... I think I shouldn't think about this. I should just embed formatted children. I'm going to call it a day. And yeah, and then I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna return it. And now that I have this, I think I can just do imp so div equals well. So now I'm I'm changing the order a little bit so. Um, um, so I'll start with the child, child. So this is for math element for child, which does not have any children of its own. Then format it sibling. It's empty, but if the sibling actually exists, oops, the sibling actually exists, we're going to fill that in. So that's going to be format sibling, format element for the previous sibling. Again, it's a leaf. And and we can say format the children and it's gonna be it's gonna start with the new line and if if formatted sibling mm, If it's there, uh, then do it and add another new line. Then add, uh, well, I guess I could just do this. Uh, right, right, and if it's not the last, so if child dot my sibling is not null, then I can also add. Uh, this. And I add this, and I also add a mark here, which I'll need to later extract and change depending on which one it is. Um, and now I can make. Format the parent node, pass in the formatted children. And maybe this will be it. Um, let's see if that works. Uh, I forgot the statement. Uh, 
Okay. Ah, I forgot the... Well, it should be more indented. So this should be... Uh, well, all of them should be indented, so... How much should they be indented? Let's do two for now. Before, before. Yeah, I did four because I did. I did two for this one. Well, I guess I can't easily do that, right? Because I need to know the indentation level. I just have to pass it in. Um. <laughs> Can I assume that? Well, I shouldn't assume that. I should. Yeah, I think something like this. And then indentation, so this is going to be uh, and then this is going to be the same. Oh, wait, what? Yeah, no, actually, this is this is interesting. This is going to be oh, wait, this is interesting. Uh, well, it's a leaf, so yeah, it's only used once. So this actually has the... How did we want to do it? Yeah, so this is... We should have the same indentation as Git does. I'm not sure what it is. Um, if, it, if it does at all. Um, yeah, and then, yeah. And then this one would just be two spaces. Wait, this is this is completely wrong. Uh, why is it so wrong? Dev. Yeah, so this is the previous sibling. One, two, three, four. Patient. Uh. Okay, so when children are passed, do I assume that they're... Yeah, I assume that there should be a new line. I think that's, that's kind of my assumption. That that did not help. Um Yeah, I'm gonna remove this new line from here and I will probably remove Yeah, sorry, this is a bit of a mess. Uh I'll just it's kind of not the point. Mm. Yeah, so the, this one is one, two, three, four, five, six. What? what am I doing? Previous sibling, commit element, previous sibling. Why is it so long? This is, yeah, so this is the... Yeah. 
the end of the attributes is the branch I'm going into. Wait, what is this? No, I think this is needed. Yeah, because that's, that's the closing tag. Uh, yeah, I don't know why somebody's asking about Redux. I, I, I'm not working on that. Um, I'm working on React. This is React. Yeah, I can't figure out what's going on. Ah, let's let's just debug a little bit. Uh, yes, it's, it's this test, right? No, wait, this not. Which one is the test that is most? Just most obviously wrong. In server, and there's extra element in the end. Right, so it's, it's this one. Yeah, okay, this, this, this. So, uh, let's just make format it. Okay, this is why. Yep, okay, cool. Okay, so we have a uh, mismatch and yeah, so dun dun dun. Choose the one, two, yeah, that's good. So this is good. This is not good. No, I think this is not good because it's uh, is it this one? Yeah, this is wrong because it's it's missing the header. So I lost some logic that was supposed to help with that. Formatted sibling. Uh, yeah, so if Formatted sibling is itself is not parent nodes first child. Then we add this dot. Right? Uh, well, maybe. I don't know. No. No, we wait. Let's try the other way. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that, that this one looks pretty good. Ah, uh, this one. I think also looks good. Let me verify for a moment that like if I if I put some content here, it should show it. Well, not not this one, I guess. Ah, the next one. Ah, uh, what did I do? Oh. Yeah, so it shows like it's is there sandwiched between these things. Yeah, okay, that and, and if this one has content. Should also be fine. Yeah. Oh, let's check the rest. So this is still crashing, which is expected, but I refactored this a little bit, so it will be easier to fix the crash. Um, let's maybe focus on the one that is crashing. Yes, no, wait, this is not the one. Is it this one? 
Yeah, this is the one that's crashing. It's crashing because uh, because actually, if you uh, if you use suspense, we're actually encoding that as comments. So there's gonna be like a bunch of comment nodes, which is just use like previous sibling. That's not gonna work. Um, so I think, but in general. I guess I haven't touched the. Well, what if the previous sibling is a, is a text node, right? So if um. Um. Like if we take. An extra element. Server and there's an extra element. Let me add another test here. Uh, on server and there's an extra element after text note. Yeah. Um, Let's focus on this test. Yeah, so it also fails. It says cannot read properties of undefined, which is which is good because we're gonna fix it. But because I added this test here, I'm also gonna add this similar test for the client. So client renders an extra element at the end. So I'm gonna Paste this here. Client renders an extra element. The text node. Um, yeah. And I should probably add the same for text nodes themselves. Well, I already have. What if text node renders after an element? So. Yeah, so when client renders an extra text node after an element, uh, so this would be two, and this would be one. When client renders it. And I will also add one to this server text node part here. Um, so this one server renders an extra text node after an element. This should say client. Yeah, and then let's, let's remove the focus. <laughs> okay, so I added a bunch of tests. Um, and some of them just added new snapshots and stuff. Uh, but let's let's focus on the one that crashes because this is not. Let's say cannot do something. Yeah, I cannot read properties of undefined. It's server. This one. Okay, yeah, this is this is the problematic one. So there should be not just format element. Uh, there should be a few things. So there should be format node. Um, I guess it'll take the same things. No, it doesn't make sense. It shouldn't take this. So format node. Uh, there are some different nodes. Element. 
Let's not see data. Comment node, document node, document fragment. I don't think you can actually meet like these as like inside. Well, we could, but not in React code. But in principle, if maybe there's some way, you can definitely meet these ones. So maybe what I'll do. Let's just let's do something like I had well um oh okay well I don't want to write all of this but no it's fine I will I will change this later so if it's an element. Yeah, and I'll need to fix up the types for this to work. So if it's an element, we're gonna pass this. If it's text node, then we're just gonna return invitation plus. So like this. Um. Oops. <laughs> nope. It sound it sounded like like something you might write on Twitter. Normalize no and the replacement rejects. Yes. Queen. Um okay, so previous sibling and uh so what I wanna do is I wanna kinda of walk backwards until I meet something that's that's decent, so it's not null, and it's also not, uh, not null. It's also not a element, and it's also not a text node. Keep walking, and then if 
if it's this, then we're going to find that if it's a no. And then here, we're going to do the same thing, but for what? So, well, actually, we don't need it because we don't. Um, yeah, we don't. Because we don't print it, actually. Um, somebody's asking, do people actually understand what I'm doing? I don't think what I'm doing is very complicated. I'm just trying to write a function that that creates a nice message. So that instead of seeing, did not expect to contain a footer and div, it would contain, uh, you know, it'll point to the actual, uh, the pretty message you can actually kind of read uh, and understand. But because you missed the, the part where I explained it, it might seem a bit cryptic, um, but all it does is just produce a string that, that appear, like a nice error message. It doesn't do anything else. So, um, Yeah, so the parent thing is definitely an element, so I don't need that stuff. And then child, the child can actually be any node. So let's pause it here. Um, and what is this thing about first child? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's fine. Yeah. yeah, that fixes it. Now we can see that there is uh, there is a parent. Then, well, why did why, why did I have this? Uh, this is the first trial. So why does it why does it show this? Brief sibling. Uh, well, I'm going to just say if brief sibling dot previous sibling is not null, then we're going to have this thing. Okay, yeah. So now it has, uh, let me remove this focus. Okay, so let's have a look at, uh, I don't know what this is about. Well, yeah. So some of these actually are are just I I wrote them and copy pasted the snapshot that did not updated. So that is it is expected. But let's uh, let's check the ones that are not the ones that I have newly added because they're they're definitely going to be wrong. Forms from client friend is next. Yeah, this is the one I added. Server adds extra element is only child. This is correct. It comes when server renders an extra element at the end. This looks correct. Warns when server renders an extra element after a text node. So in the text node, we have the element call. Uh, warns when server renders an extra text node after an element. I added this one, so it's 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 wrong. It's copy pasta. Warns when server render and there's an extra suspense node in content mode. Uh, let's let's check this one. Uh, this um, so it says that the content rendered by the server did not match. The server rendered an extra node. So the mismatch occurred here. So the server rendered main and the client didn't. Yeah, that seems legit. Um, I don't know why it says that there's more. Inside, I guess it's because, well, yeah, it's because this logic doesn't consider what's, what's in there. Um, so I think maybe, maybe I'll, I'll make this into a function after all.
Uh huh. And this will be. And let's just get even. Uh. Well, let's just call it should Brandon work it. Should should include in diff. And then here I say if, well, uh, if previous, it's kind of convenient if this takes null as well. It's just. Oops, there. Yeah, so if it's then I can actually write oh oops. Well I guess flow wouldn't let me skip this check anyway. Um Okay, if flow does not do this, might as well write the whole thing. If it's there, and it should be included in div, then this, and then if there's something after it, well, but what if what if there's something after it? What if like this thing should not be included in diff, but something after it should? Yeah, I think that just means that. Um, Now maybe overcomplicating this. Because we don't really have any situations where we would just like emit comments. Like the only case where you would see a comment is wraps something like a text node or this you could render null Yeah, maybe I would write this a little bit differently. Maybe, um, maybe I just have two while loops. One one goes backwards um, from the child as soon as it meets something that should be included in diff. It includes it, and the one at the end kind of does the same thing and exits immediately. Um, so maybe let's try that. So, uh, hmm. I don't know if I like that either.
Essentially, we just want to skip over comments. Uh, there's something like another previous element chat, but previous is previous Pokemon we know. Previous. Yeah, no. It's not a thing. Yeah, I'll just Copy paste. Perfect. Okay, so this should be this. this. Okay, uh, I don't know if this is actually, I don't know if I solved any problems by doing this. Thinking, let's see, this is only child, extra element in the end, fine. This is, this is fine. This is extra suspense not in content, this is fine. Yeah, so this actually, I think this actually fixes what I wanted to fix. So, uh, yeah, because it doesn't think that there's something after it, just because there's a comment, because this comment gets ignored now. But if I, if I, if I do, well, let's, let's see the rest for now. Uh, words when extra, what blank, what mode, so it's, here, I think it's about the server. Yes, yeah, so not the. Yes, yeah, so not the, the. Yeah, this one. Yeah, this one doesn't exist. Yeah, that's right. Um. Fragment horns with extra fragment node. And that is correct. There's actually stuff after it. And this is. An extra node deeper in the tree. That's also correct. So we're gonna update those snapshots. And I also have a second test runner that's running in a different mode, so I have to update these snapshots as well. 
and I'm gonna run prettier. Um, yeah, I do that manually. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, and so now now the now we actually have some diffs here that we can kind of look at. I don't know why. I don't know why this doesn't. Yeah, that's a bit confusing that it has, you know, it has the stack, right? Match and footer. Yeah, like, I don't know if this is going to be... What does it say in footer? And then this, this says main. Oh, this is actually really interesting. You see, like this. Uh, wait, no. I see. No, I know what's hap I know what's happening. We used to. This is the. Uh, like previously, we'd get a different, better message, but now the message is worse. Uh, I need to fix it separately. It's it's for a different reason. Uh, but it's just that the new message is only here. But in some of those. Yeah, for example, in this one, we're, we're good. Um, I don't know what's up with the indentation. I'm not sure it's correct. But no, it seems fine. Yeah, maybe I should add like another, another new line. Add that. Render by the server didn't match because the server rendered an extra node. Server rendered B. Yeah, that's the fallback. Okay. Yeah, I think all of these uh, so far that I've seen, they looked good. Um, so we would need to. We'd need to implement a few more things, so we would need to implement um is that, that's not how this is being used, okay. Um whatever. Uh mm. Yeah, so I'll need to I'll need to make sure that it can handle the the parent being uh yeah because this is not guaranteed to be element. This could also be a document or a document fragment, and it should work for those as well. But the child is fine because we only we only handle a few types of children, so we're good. This could have been something like, maybe we could have unified, no, no, we shouldn't, it's fine. Yeah, and then I'll need to extract this logic and then reuse it in in a few other places. Like maybe maybe I could actually do some of it now. So um, I, want, I want to add soon because I have to go, but maybe we can just, um, Uh, like format diff or deletion where well format diff or extra server node I think this is clear so we have the parent node we have the child child could be an element or it could be a text node so I will I will take this now we'll say let's say this is the the return value and do you I'll just just call it parent note child and then for a quick win, I just want to do the same for text nodes because they're going to be logic is going to be exactly the same because the server 
so this will say an extra element and this will say an extra text element but the logic will be the same let's see if that works uh, mismatch yeah yeah so for example this i don't know if i should add like quotes to them i think not because it's html so it doesn't really make sense um yeah and then the other ones yeah that that also makes sense and that also makes sense so it seems like we can just update the snapshots and update the snapshots here as well yeah and then oh i'm in i'm in a completely wrong branch actually uh Okay, so I added a bunch of tests, I improved a bunch of messages. The type that checker will not pass because I know that I know that I've definitely messed up the types, but I'll do that next time. Uh what, what's going on? Receiving is never sure. Ready. Uh okay. Cancel error. Actually, that one. Oh yeah, yeah. That's yeah. That's kind of shitty. Uh, I mean, yeah, like this bit of duplication here, which is fine. Yeah, that's fine. Mm -hmm. awesome i think that that's probably it for today uh somebody's asking why the whole function is inside def rather than an early return just so that it's clearer from a glance which code is dev only. Like if you just early return, you don't see it in the nesting. If you see it in the nesting, it's 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 much easier to notice. Oh, like all of this chunk, all of this code is not actually in production. Uh, no. So the, the Brian is actually wrong on this because uh, so Brian is saying allows the bundler to eliminate it, but Closure compiler can actually eliminate it just fine if we change it to early return. Like closure compiler really doesn't care about this. Um, so like it, this would work. It's just that we prefer to see visually which code is dev only because it's it's very convenient when you scan a file. You just see oh, you know like uh, oh so this part is dev only, like this part is dev only, and so on and. If you have something in the beginning it's, it's very easy to miss so that is uh that is the process yeah so i think i'm done here i will send the draft br now um but i need to fix like a lot of these other there's like there's like so we did two of them. There's like one, two, three, four, um, five. Yeah, so there's like five other hydration errors that, that I want to have the same format. So I like I will properly flag it as a PR after uh after we've done that. 
So thanks for watching and see you some other time. Uh, yeah, let's go. I don't know how to stop.